Okay, what I'd like to do now is set up the code that is to run when the OK button is clicked. So first of all, what I'd like to do is go and look at my data entry code. In my Project Explorer, in the Module 1, if I double click Module 1, here's my data entry code. And I first of all want to add a statement directly after this statement, which inserts the date. Under this statement, well actually before this statement, so directly above it, I'm just going to click here and press Enter, maybe a few times. What I want it to do is to show the form FRM Sales. So I'll type FRM Sales, full stop, show. So that will show the form. Once the form is shown, I actually want to select all these statements here and cut them out of here. So I'm going to press Ctrl X to cut. I'm then going to go back to my form FRM Sales by double clicking it in the Project Explorer. And I want to add this code to the OK button, so I'll double click OK. What I want to do here is immediately under Command OK is Paste. So I'll make a bit of a gap and Control V to Paste. Now what I want the OK button to do is to add the value date to the active cell. But it's not actually the word date I want to add, it's actually whatever date is entered in the control or the field called TXT date. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to say the active cell and you could change this to value. The active cells value is equal to convert to date, which is a special function, open bracket, whatever's in the field txt date and its particular value. So the value in the field or the control called txt date is to be converted to a date and is to be put in the active cell. Then it's going to offset itself no rows in one column and it would normally type the word person, but I'm going to take this out. In this particular cell, I want it to put whatever values in the combo box called person. And that's what it will do. Then the next statement is it will go one column to the right and it will type the value title. So I can take this out and instead I want to put whatever option has been chosen in the frame FM title. And of course I could also change these all to value. I might do these ones as well, just to be consistent. Alright, so when the command button is clicked, it will be sitting in the next row, the beginning of the next row. And in that cell, it'll put the text, the field text dates value. Then it'll go one to the right and it'll put the value from the combo box person. It'll go one to the right. It'll put whatever variable has been chosen in the frame called title. Then it'll go one to the right. And instead of typing the word region, let's tell it to put the value that's been chosen in the combo box called region. So this comes out, CBO region. Full stop value. Then I'll go one to the right, and instead of putting the word actual, let's tell it to put the actual value, but convert it to currency. Convert to currency whatever's in the control txt actual, and put its value. Then it'll go one more to the right, and then it'll return to the start cell, which is A1, and then it'll effectively close the form. And that's the code I want to add. Let's go save and save our code. And let's return to our spreadsheet. And let's hit the data entry button. When you hit the data entry button, that will open up the form. If I put a date in, perhaps the 9th of the 9th, 13th, and then I choose a person, perhaps Egan, and choose a region, perhaps Hamilton, and put an actual value, maybe 1500, and I'll say that this person is an owner. When I click the OK button, it will put those values into those cells. And OK. Perfect. What I might just do is auto fit this particular column and convert the whole column to currency. So all the data is uniform. So I'll click on column C and I'll just change it to currency. So let's just test the button again. 
If I hit the data entry button, brings up the form. I might put the 10th of the 9th there in. I'll choose a person, perhaps Munro, choose a region, perhaps Auckland, and enter a value of 1600, and say this person is a rep, and OK. The column's not quite wide enough for that date, so I'll increase the width of the column, and just test it one more time. Testing's really important. So I'll click the data entry button, I'll put a date, the 11th of the 9th, I'll choose a person, Gerard, choose a region, perhaps Christchurch, and put a value of 2000. And so this is admin. And OK. And I can see that now my button is working correctly. It brings up my user form. And whatever they enter with the use of the OK button is then put in the appropriate cells. So user forms are a nice user friendly interface for working with a particular spreadsheet. I might decide also that user form 1 is not an appropriate name. So I might just close this or cancel. If I go back to my Visual Basic Editor and I click on the form, I can see the properties listed here. And what I might do is give it a caption. And instead of user form 1, I'll put data entry form and enter. If I now test my code again, I'll hit the data entry button. Here's my data entry form. Nice caption. I'll put in the 12th of the 9th, 13th. Put in a person, perhaps Clayton. Put in a region, perhaps Wellington, and enter another actual value of 1700 and make it an owner and just test that everything's working okay. Brilliant. And so those are user forms.